Alrighty, next uh, experiment regarding this uh, magnetic spin cam vortex, whatever you want to call it. What I've done now is I've formed a complete current loop around the magnet. So as the forces will be placed on the magnetic field even from 360 degrees around the magnet. Uh, just a nice big strip of copper buzz bar. Reasonably small stuff, but uh, you know, eight mil by three mil thick. Well capable of carrying the uh, current for this experiment. So that's what we have: a complete current loop. I have the magnet sitting up on top of a bolt, which is sitting on a perspex disc. As you can see down the bottom. I'm going to have to shoot that dog. Anyway, so the bolt itself and the magnet is our negative polarity and our current loop is of course our positive and I use copper just to keep as much as the oxygen bubbles away from the experiment as I can just so they don't visually uh, obscure anything that's going on you will see I get a few off of this so I'm thinking that the copper may not be 100% pure Okay, so uh, we've got our current loop around the magnet. I'm going to switch on the power and see what happens. I don't know if you can clearly see that, but once again, we still have our spin. Now I found my compass and the top of the magnet is what we call the north field now and the bottom is the south that is rotating anti-clockwise if we are looking directly down onto the magnet so if the magnet could actually spin I'm guessing it would turn what we would call clockwise what I'm going to do now is I'm going to miss, uh, drop the current loop down below the magnet and as we can see that hasn't changed anything we still have an anti-clockwise spin at the north field and a quite strong one what I'm going to do now is lift our current loop almost out of the water and I made it like this so I could adjust it so now our current loop is nearly at the top of the tank and I'll just try and place it in the middle of the magnet as much as possible like so and you, of course you can see we still have our spin in the same direction this is the same for a homopolar motor when you would touch the wire on the side of the magnet it doesn't matter whether you touch it in the north field, the centre or the south it will still spin in the same direction and only when you change the polarity will it spin in the opposite direction or turn the, bat, the uh, magnet upside down of course so um, no matter where we have our current loop we still get the spin and no matter whether we have our current loop which is providing a current evenly all the way around the magnet so the force applied to the magnetic field at the moment is from 360 degrees and still we get the spin and of course that spin will be opposite if we flip the magnet upside down oh, I'm going to turn that off first because I do get zappies from that even though it's 31 volts still enough to give you a tickle so I'm going to try and get this magnet off of here one handed oh. Of course, as soon as you get it, it wants to come up with you. 
turn it over you'll see I have a white mark on the magnet now which indicates the south field sorry about the wobbly camera job but I'll try and do this one hand you can see the white mark on top of the magnet it is indicating the south field it is now yeah, pretty much in the middle of the current loop we'll turn the power back on and straight away you can see clearly spinning in the opposite direction It is now spinning clockwise looking down on top of the magnet. Once again drop the current loop right down the bottom. No change in effect. We will lift it right up the top. Like yay. And still no change in effect. So having the current loop we've eliminated the current coming from uh, one side and hitting the magnetic field and causing a spin because it is now coming from 360 degrees in towards that field. So that was just my next little experiment just to eliminate the current coming from um, an angle hitting the field and causing the spin. So something must be spinning, whether it's a field or something else, to create that vortex we see on the magnet. Because we are now applying an even pressure from 360 degrees around the magnet and we still get a spin. Alright guys, we'll uh, continue the discussion on this and uh, see where we end up. Cheers. Just going to add this onto it. There was a member out there that commented on one of my last videos to try a square magnet. So I've got two Neo N52s on there. They're quite powerful. Um, and I do try and get everything done or try everything that everyone suggests. So here we are, the two square magnets hooked together to make one large one and we still clearly have a spin on the top that of course is the south field on the top and it is spinning clockwise looking down on the magnet so still the same effect with a square magnet the vortex seems to be a little more defined I'm guessing that's just because of the smaller diameter of the magnet and of course that it is square may have something to do with it concentrating the vortex so there you go, square magnet seems to have the same effect nothing much different